Why do I have to buy a better grinder? I get that question all the time, especially in our retail stores or if I happen to get on the phone. Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear. And I have a blade grinder at home. Why do I need to upgrade to a burr grinder? It's just going to cost a lot of money. I'm going to get the same results. A contraire. This is my feelings on it. A blade grinder, as you can see, is a whirly gig of an airplane going around in there. And it's a bunch of beans flying around. And it's hit or miss how often they hit those blades. So if you will look at your ground coffee after you've used a blade grinder, and I know like most of us, we all had one, and you shake it and that helps. It sure, it really does help. But you'll see that you'll have coarser and finer in the same batch. How does that affect your coffee? The particle size makes a difference on how the water extracts the coffee from those particles. So if you've got a hundred different particle sizes out of the blade grinder, every one of those particle sizes is going to extract the coffee different. So the taste is going to be all over the place. Whereas with a burr grinder, everything that goes between those two burrs is consistent and pretty much the same. Depending on the quality of the burr grinder, as you go up, the consistency gets better. But for the most part, everything that goes through there is going to be relatively consistent. Then when you are doing your extraction, what's going to happen? Everything extracts at the same rate. All the particles extract at the same rate, and it's going to taste better, I think. That's my take on it. So what we are going to do is we're going to do a taste test. We are going to do a Kalita pour over. We got everything prepared and ready to go back there. We're going to do the same amount of beans, same amount of water, and we're going to taste it and see what it tastes like. All right, so we did the pour over. As a matter of curiosity, the, uh, f the, the blade grinder took almost a minute longer for the same amount of coffee, 16 grams of coffee, 256 grams of liquid. So uh, what can I say? Take a look. There's a big difference. It is huge. All of the coarse stuff came to the surface. And my theory of why it took longer was the fines, the really fine stuff was too fine. So you got too coarse, too fine. This is more consistent. But taste test, that's the deal, right? Let's do that. Get rid of that. Da -da -da -da. Let's get the scales out of here in case I spill. I will give you the first taste test. Blade versus burr. Both hot. It's a little flat. Total different. This is much better to me. It's a cleaner, crisper. Not so flat. That one has some flat going on. I don't know why. It's even almost a different... Eh, I guess the color is the same if I put them next to each other. See, I told you I'd spill. Told you. It's hot, it's hot, hot, hot. That's why I'm slurping. One more. Yep, this is better. I'm getting more of the true taste of the coffee. Um, and, I'm, and I'm not even sure what coffee it was because they didn't tell me. It's just coffee. So this one, flatter, doesn't have as many notes. This one, much crisper, cleaner, lots of notes going on, and a, a good coffee taste. You be the judge. Now, first off, you already have the blade grinder at home, right? Yeah, I heard you say yes. So to do the test, you're going to have to buy a burr grinder. You know where to look to find one, right? Seattle Coffee Year? Just saying. Just saying. Thanks a lot for watching, and um, I mean, I know it's all subjective. You try the test at home yourself and see what you think. Really, if a blade grinder works for you, great. And then, uh, if a burr grinder works better for you, great as well. Thanks a lot for watching, and stay tuned for the next test that we do like this.